Popular influencer and co-host of the cancelled podcast, Brooke Schofield is currently facing backlash online over resurfaced racist tweets from 2012 through 2016. Brooke Schofield has been all over headlines and feeds the past few weeks following her TikTok series about her ex-boyfriend Clinton Kane. Schofield made her own version of Risa Tisa's Who TF Did I Marry, with the TikTok series garnering over 110 million combined views. In this series, Schofield claims that Kane allegedly lied about numerous things throughout their relationship, including the death of his mother, his age, having an Australian accent, and cheated on Schofield. While many fans rallied behind Schofield in the Clinton Kane drama, some fans are now upset with her after a series of racist tweets have resurfaced. On August 3rd, Schofield took to TikTok to apologize for the tweet she wrote when she was between 15 and 18 years old. They unfortunately are not fake. Those are real tweets, like real things that I said. I feel the same way about them that you do. I think they're so disturbing. They're wrong, they're horrible, and they're disgusting. I was adopted by my grandparents when I was like 10, and I grew up with them from that point on. And as is true for a lot of grandparents, they're a little bit less progressive than a lot of us are now. It wasn't until like even after college that I really started to like shift my way of thinking. And there are people in my life who I might have looked up to forever who I do not agree with. Despite the apology, many continued to call out Schofield in the comments, specifically mentioning her tweets about the 2012 killing of Trayvon Martin. As the controversy continues, Boys Lie, a popular clothing brand Schofield has been working with, released a statement regarding fan backlash, writing, We are in a weird position right now. We didn't want to end the weekend without saying that we hear you, we see you, and we are adamantly working on a solution.